Nokia released the 5730 Express Music, their first music-oriented handset equipped with QWERTY keyboard at the height of this summer. It is a smartphone running Symbian S6030 Edition feature pack 2 operating system and aims to deliver a full set of functions including GPS, 3G and Wi-Fi for a fully-fledged internet surfing and social networking experience. In terms of overall design, the handset follows in the steps of its predecessors and looks youthful and offbeat. It feels solid and the manufacturer has balanced its size, weight and functions properly. The 2.4-inch display with native resolution of 240 by 320 pixels supports 16 million colors and delivers saturated, vivid colors. Similarly to other Nokia devices, it remains utterly usable in the sun thanks to the incorporated trans-reflective LCD technology. The N-gauge buttons that are somewhat hard to press are located above the screen along with the light sensitivity sensor, earpiece and video call camera. The navigational buttons are handy and the audio controls typical of all Express Music handsets are easy to press. The numeric keypad comes in the same overall designation style as the 5630. As a whole, the practical implementation of the keypad leaves a lot of room for improvement since it's a far cry from being handy to use. The buttons on the QWERTY keyboard come in pretty much the same styling as well and are quite spectacular to look at, especially in the dark. You might think they're a bit odd at first, but you will get used to them quite quickly. Just like with the Nokia E75, the keys are large enough and aligned in four rows. Unfortunately, they are not as easy to type away on and you just can't enter text as quickly as on the mentioned business model. On either side you have a micro USB port, micro SD card slot, 3.5mm jack, volume rocker and a camera shutter. We need to say the latter two are not really comfy to press since they are not raised enough. As we already mentioned, the Nokia 5730 Express Music is a Symbian S60 smartphone and its interface is not any different from the Nokia 5630 Express Music, meaning it doesn't deliver any extra features. The home screen team that provides the most amount of information is called Contact Bar and it's similar to the one on the Nokia 5800 Express Music. As its name suggests, it visualizes up to 20 of your contacts, each one of them appearing with its assigned picture. Selecting an entry shows call history and the latest messages you have exchanged. The same function is used to follow RSS broadcasts. You have the option to place a row of icons at the bottom to gain quick access to the audio player, radio, internet browser, engage web page, phone gallery and web searches. As we told you, typing messages is by no means a speedy process. The list of drawbacks should be expanded with the lack of Nokia messaging support because the software packs make email correspondence way easier and faster to handle. Please, read our review of the Nokia E75 if you want to find out more about it. The Nokia 5730 Express Music sports proper internet connectivity thanks to its support for fast 3G and Wi-Fi. Pages load quickly without issues and the Symbian browser copes with YouTube videos. Unfortunately, it just can't handle other flash elements. Finally, 5730 Express Music supports major social networks like Facebook, MySpace, Hi5, Friendster and Windows Live Messenger and you can find the relevant shortcuts in the internet menu. The camera is equipped with 3.2 megapixel sensor, double LED flash and various options. Unfortunately, images have surreal colors, lack enough details and the flash itself is pretty useless, no matter if it's in pitch dark or there is just not enough light. Videos are captured at VGA resolution at 30 frames per second, but at mediocre quality. Take a look at the test snapshots and video available in our full review on phonearena.com. The audio player is OK and features equalizer and playback settings, but the loudspeaker is not powerful enough, plus it produces an overly sharp sound. We cannot say the boxed handset would impress you with audio quality either, because sound just lacks pronounced bass and trebles. The situation doesn't change much even if you plug in headphones of better quality. We expected much more of the 5730 in terms of audio. After all, this is one of its key aspects. We are far from impressed at the in-call quality as well. Voices sound overly sharp and sometimes get even unintelligible on both ends of the line. The 5730 Express Music failed to enthrall us with its operational speed, because it's rather sluggish, especially alongside of the 5630. The Nokia 5730 Express Music aims to be equally capable at audio playback, text entry, social networking and internet browsing, and this is true indeed. 
since the handset is equally mediocre at them all. Keeping in mind its performance, we cannot recommend it, because we believe its price tag is unjustified. If you need decent alternatives, consider the Nokia E63 and faster and slimmer 5630 or the Sony Ericsson W715.